Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we will continue our work on our paint program. So as you can see here, we will be implementing a color pickle tool so we can draw in different colors. Now, in addition, we will learn how to implement what I call the rainbow mode. So that will be exciting. Um, in process of doing so, we will basically learn how to deal with images because this thing here is just an image. And we will also touch on how to use variables. All right, so let's get to it. Copy paste tutorial number two because we will be working on top of it now. Go inside. We will also need this picture here. So the link is in the video description. So I'll just drag and drop it here. Colors of PNG. Um, and drag and drop starter code into your editor. So this is the code we have from tutorial number two. Let's remind ourselves what it does. I'll double click to run. So it's basically just a very simple paint kind of program. So we can draw and we can also erase with the right mouse button. Let's first learn how to load and display images. This is an extremely simple task in Pygame. First, we will load the image. So let me create a variable called ing, like image, and assign to it pygame.image.load. This is a method that takes a single argument, a string that describes the name of the file name we'd like to load. For us, that's colors.png. So this method will read this file, and it will read it as a, as a image and store it in this variable. Now to display this image, we need only a single line of code again. It is self.screen.blit. This command will display our image. It takes two arguments. It takes what would you like to blit the screen, in our case that's image, and where would you like to blit it? Zero and zero. So let's just do top left. That's zero, zero. And let's try to run this. So there we go. We have that image now starting at top left. So that was extremely simple. Now the way we have it set up right now is that this image is just sitting here on the top left. So while I draw here and then I come over here, what's going to happen? Well, we're just going to draw right through it. I mean, we only blitted it to the screen a single time in the init method. And now we're just drawing black lines on top of it as we draw. So we're going to have to change our code. Let's say that we will only be able to draw in this area here below this line we will be picking colors in this area here and when we click here or something then nothing will happen let's say so this will only be our drawing area and when the cursor is here we would like to be picking colors from this image so how are we going to implement this well lucky for us in the mouse motion method we are given pause so we know where the mouse cursor is now let's look at our image here colors.png its dimensions are 172 by 172 so therefore we would like to do all this drawing stuff that we did before, but only if we are in the lower portion of the screen. In other words, if the Y coordinate of our position is greater, at least as big as 172, then only we would like to do the drawing. Okay, because pixels zero all the way up till 171 and including 171, those 172 pixels are devoted to this image and we would never like to draw in there. So we only want to do drawing here. Now, otherwise, else, here we would like to put our code for picking colors and stuff like that. So we only want to pick colors from the first 172 pixels. So if position at zero, in other words, our X coordinate is lower than 172, here we will put code to extract the color. Because otherwise, if our position, our x coordinate is greater than or equal to 172, we are on that right part of the screen where we want to do nothing. Good. So let's save this and let's run just to see what happened. So there we go. So now when we come here and I'm pressing left mouse button, nothing's happening. But here we can all, we can still draw. Right? That's good. Good start. Now let's see how we could implement the color picking functionality. Here in this code where we draw the black lines, we can see that the color we draw with is always just black. We need control over this now because we need to remember what color the user has picked here. And we need to draw with that color. In other words, we need a variable to remember what color was picked. So I'll come back to the init method here and I'll create a variable called the draw color, let's say. And initially I'll set it to black. Okay. 
So by the way, I'm putting in self dot draw color. Whenever you create a var variable and you prepend self dot, that just makes that variable global, so that the variable exists everywhere in this code. This variable image, that's a local variable because it doesn't have the self dot. Therefore, if I try to do something with image here, Python would complain that it doesn't know what image is. So I'm creating a global to the class variable. So draw color. Initially, I set it to black. And now, instead of drawing with 0, 0, 0 always, I'll be drawing with self.drawcolor. And now we just need to implement the functionality to change the draw color in here. And fortunately, this will be very easy. So if our x and y coordinates are both below 172, then our mouse is above the color picking image. And in addition, if we are holding down, say, the left mouse button, if buttons at 0 is 1, then we would like to assign to draw color. We would like to assign to it whatever color is under the mouse position right now. So we are going to learn a new function call here. It is self.screen.get at. This function returns the color at some position on self.screen. Well, what position do we want? The position of the mouse. So this will just return the color at our current position and assign it to draw color and then we'll be able to draw with it in here. So let's see if that worked. Um, there we go. So we are drawing with black because initially we set our color to black. And now I'm going to hold to set color. color. And there we go. So let us also show what color we've selected. We could do that simply by just immediately drawing a circle of that color on somewhere on the right. So let's just draw a circle, pygame.draw.circle. We'll draw it on self.screen. Its color will be self.drawcolor. And its position will be, well, the image goes to 172. So the x coordinate, let's say 1, let's say 200. And let's say 100, something like that. And how big would we like it? 30, let's say. Save and run. So now it should also show what color we are picking. And then we can draw with it. Excellent, so that wasn't too hard. And now let's implement the best part, the rainbow mode. So let's say that with the middle mouse button, we'll be drawing in rainbow mode. So in other words, if buttons at 1 is pushed, then rainbow mode activated. OK, so how are we going to implement this? Well, I'm just going to start implementing it. Hopefully, you'll catch on how I'm doing it. So I'm going to need another variable, self.x and I'll assign it initially to 0. And now here, I'm going to draw just as before. So pygame.draw, the line, all that stuff we did before, but not with draw color. I'm going to draw with a different color. I'm going to draw with this color. Color equals self.screen.get at, at what position? At position self.x and 0. And I'm going to draw with that color. So maybe you're saying what I'm doing here. And now after I draw with this color, um, I'm going to do self.x incremented by 1, so plus equals 1. And just to make sure I don't go out of bounds, I'm going to do if self.x is greater than or equal to 172, I'm going to re-roll it back to 0. So hopefully you're seeing what happens here. I start self.x at 0, and then I draw with the color 0, 0. I increment x. This will become 1, 0, then 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0. And I'm going to be drawing with that color. So let's see what happens. So do you see what's happening? I'm shifting self.x always by 1 every time I draw a little line segment. And basically I'm getting this color, this color, this color, this color, and I'm just going through this hue here. And then once I get here, I reroll back to zero and I start drawing with that color. So there we go. Drawing normally or drawing with rainbow mode. And that's it. OK, let's do a quick recap to wrap up. In this tutorial, we learned how to load and save images. We also learned how to extract colors from different positions from the surface. And we also learned how variables work a little bit.
if you need a global variable and you need it to exist throughout the entire time, use self dot. Whereas temporary variables such as this image here, you only use it once and then you can forget it. Or my color here, I only use it once in here and then it's going to get lost once this function ends in here. But I don't need it anymore so I don't care. And um, yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching. Bye bye.